hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 3.12 and the statement of it is an investment firm offers its customers municipal bonds that mature after varying numbers of years given that the cumulative distribution function which have discussed this lecture what is cumulative distribution so the number of years to maturity for a randomly selected bond is given by this f of t the different value and these values correspond with this they are given different values of f of t and on the basis of t on the basis of this f of t what we have to find out we have to find different quantities one in the form of part a b so let us solve it okay? and in solving it let me have part a and in part a i want to find out the probability at t equal to 5 what do we have to do previously we have seen that in order to find the probability of the instance between two events let me have this one as 5 and this is the previous event 4 okay so in order to find the probability here what can i do i can uh, subtract from this one so therefore here what we can do here that we have this function so therefore i have to find here f of 5 and from it i have to subtract f of so let me see the value of f of 5 what is the value of f of 5 so from it i can very easily see that at this instant let me change the color here so this i can see that this one very clearly see that greater or equal to 5 so therefore taking the same instance here and writing here that by 4 and what is the probability at f4 okay here i can see that at this function instance uh, here the range of this 1 by 2 is from t greater or equal to 3 and less than 5 so in this instance 4 is already in it okay therefore i am taking one as well so it by 2 or 3 by 4 this 1 by 2 can also be written as 2 by 4 subtracting for this one what i will get here i will get here 1 by 4 by using the lcm or whatsoever so i'm not going to details of this so this is what this is the solution of part a uh, similarly in order to find the part b what is part b i want to find out the probability so in order to do so what i can do i can see that in cumulative distribution function in order to find the probabilities greater than three i have to take all the probabilities less than this and subtract it from one so what i can do here i can also write it here one minus f for probabilities of all which are is less than or equal i hope you have got my point that why am i doing it because in previous lecture you have seen that if different probability which are here so in order to find the probability which is if let me have this so if i want to find the probability which is greater than this one so for that i have to subtract from it all this area so that i will get so in order to find the values here what i can do here that in cdf the less than or equal to values are almost similar so therefore in order to find the instance greater than this this one is all the values which are equal to what these are all equal to d okay so therefore i can also write here what it can also be written as one minus f equal to so let me see the value it has here and uh, here by seeing it we can very easily see that this is 1 by 2 which lies in the range that t is greater or equal to 3 okay so this is the range which i want to find out because i want to find out the value of f of t where the value of t is equal to 3 so therefore let me write their values okay so it 1 minus 1 by 2 ultimately i will get what so this is what this is part b in order to find the solution of part c which is p 1.4 t is greater than 1.4 and less than uh, 6 so here this one is very easy and in order to do so we want to find out the probability that greater than 1.4 and less than 6 let me write the formula for it and for it i have to see two ranges in which this lies so these two ranges are 6 and 1.4 so it would be f of 6 the higher range and from it i have to subtract 1.4 okay so let me write their values what would be their values 
so in writing f6 let me search for it and here i can see that this basically lies in the range which is here okay so this 3 by 4 lies in the range where t is greater or equal to 5 and less than 7 so 6 lies in uh, the range here so therefore it will be what 3 by 4 which is here given and similarly from it i have to subtract this 1.4 and let me see that where does it lie so it can be very easily seen that it also lie here because this is the range where t lies between between 1 and 3 okay so this is 1 by 4 so this way 1 by 4 subtracting for it i will get 2 by 4 which is basically 1 by 2 okay, so this is the answer of parts now in order to find the solution of part b let me start it here and that is probability that less than or equal to 5 given that greater or equal to I want to find out so in order to do so i have to use the base theorem what is the base theorem i have to see these two ranges and divide it over the given range so therefore it will become probability of which is greater or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 5 divided by the probability of this which is the given value so therefore the probability of t so uh, in order to do so what would i do here in this range what will i get this will be the value of f at 5 minus probability or value of f at 2 and subtracting it from the value t is greater than 2 which i have mentioned in this question as well that how to find it out so it will be 1 minus f of 2 so let me put all these values here so in putting all these values f of 5 it dies in this range so it will be 3 by 4 f of 2 which is here in this range similarly dividing it over 1 minus f of 2 so f of 2 basically lies here so it will be so here i will get 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 this will be 2 by 4 dividing it over 3 by 4 will cancel out and ultimately in this question what will i get 2 by 3 solution of part 